we can use a couple different tools to test the strength of our SSL ciphers. Really, these ought to be called TLS ciphers. SSL technology was obsoleted by TLS, and so TLS is technically the technology in use today, although the name SSL has surely stuck. So we're going to start with using SSL scan. We have the Matilda website. It's running inside of Samurai Web Testing Framework. And the IP address of this installation is 127.42.84.6 inside of Samurai. So the first tool we're going to use is SSL scan. And we're going to go ahead and use sudo to make sure it's running with privileges. And we're going to pass into it the IP address of the site. Now if you need help, what you can do is just put in dash dash help <clears throat> and it'll give you a list of options. One of the most useful options is its ability to take in a list of IP addresses or domain names in the targets parameter. So you can put a list of targets in a file and then just use the targets parameter. Since we're only scanning one IP, we'll just pass in the IP directly. And the tool runs pretty quickly. And so what it'll do is it'll look at each cipher and attempt to make a connection using that cipher. So the ones that are accepted are the ciphers in use by our site. And what we would be looking for is any ciphers that are obsolete or null or otherwise would create some kind of a security problem. <clears throat> also, if you look at the preferred cipher list, SSL v3 is not only supported, which is not good, it's also preferred, uh, which is exceptionally bad for this particular server. So now we're going to use nmap to do the same, and we'll notice that uh, nmap actually has an advantage over SSL scan. So we're going to use the script SSL enum ciphers. This is an NSC script that comes with nmap by default. And it will do much the same thing as SSL scan, but it will also grade the ciphers one at a time. And the output maybe is a, perhaps a bit easier to read. So we have the SSL v3 family of cipher support. Again, not something that we really want. And then uh, we notice that uh, all the ciphers set up for that are at least the stronger versions of the ciphers, but SSLv3 should be disabled. We also have TLS 1.0 supported uh, coming up in uh, 2018. PCI doesn't like those cipher families, so you should disable that as well. And then uh, <clears throat> overall, it gives us a grade. So the least strength on these ciphers is strong, and so as far as the actual ciphers, which are the the individual pieces inside of uh, the families, <clears throat> they are all strong and so the least strength is still a strong cipher. If there were any weak ciphers at all anywhere in the list, then the least strength would show you the weakest of those. So if the worst one was, um, you know, say uh, pretty bad, it might give it like a D minus or something like that. Um, and if they were on average, it might give it like a C. So those are two tools you can use to evaluate cipher strength quickly. Both of the tools support scanning an entire range of IPs or host names, and so they both are good options.